What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling. I am freaking pumped up this morning because it is springtime and I have got one thing on my mind, actually two, crappies and morel mushrooms. I woke up this morning at 4.30 planning on getting out there early. It's freaking cold out, it's like 36 degrees. So I hung out, drank a cup of coffee, 7.10 right now. I got like a 45 minute drive down to a spot that I've never been. Which reminds me, I want to mention, I mentioned it in another video, but last night I was laying in bed, not knowing where I wanted to go, got on the app called On X Hunt. If you guys haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out, especially if you like going out, finding new places to crappie fish, morel mushroom hunt, whatever, hug trees, doesn't matter. If you like going out, finding public places, On X Hunt is legit. No, I am not sponsored by them. I just use it a lot, it helps me a ton, and I like making videos trying to help people go out, find fish, teach people how to catch fish, so Onyx Hunt is worth checking out. I got like 40, maybe 35 minutes left, and we're going to be down there. Fingers crossed we strike gold today on crappies and mushrooms. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys, we are here and this looks freaking sweet. There is a ton of timber in the water and out of the water for crappies and morels. Couple docks, rock jetty. We're gonna do well today. I am freaking pumped. Let's go catch something. All right. We are traveling light, at least to start. I am bringing one fishing rod and I got a package of lures in my pocket but I don't plan on using anything else unless they make me. Starting out with this Bobby Garland Blue Thunder Color with a 1 32nd ounce jig head. Check this freaking spot out. This looks awesome. We got a rock jetty over here, brush in the water, two docks here, a dock way over there. If this doesn't say crappies, Oh my goodness, we're looking dead into the sun right here. All right, let's check this spot out. When you guys are looking for springtime crappies, they're gonna push up shallow, and any shallow structure is always a good spot. Rocks, timber, weed lines, anything. Like this is looking good, it drops off here. I wonder if we can see any. Let's flip one out. There's got to be some crappies tucked up in these rocks. Weeds and rocks. That screams crappies. Let's check out right off the point here, maybe. You don't have to make far casts for spring crappies. Like I said, they're going to be tucked. Oop, there's a fish. Oh, okay. There was a fish hit it right on the initial drop. Like I was just saying, they're gonna be tucked up here, pretty close to shore. There's an, dang, what are, I just missed him again. It might be a small bluegill or something out there. Let's see. Two casts in a row, there's another hit. There he is. What is this? Crappie. <laughs> All right. Not a bad one either. That's our first keeper. Good deal. I just got hit three casts in a row. Missed the first two. Barely got him there. <laughs> just barely got him. All right. Right off of this point. Hopefully there's a bunch more. I don't know how many I'll keep today. Here in Iowa, the limit's 25. I might keep 10. I guess maybe we'll start with like six. If I can find a bunch of morel mushrooms, I'm not gonna need too many crappies to go with them. All right, let's put that there. Maybe see if we can set this rock right on this stringer so this doesn't take off. All right, there we go. Let's get back out there. It didn't take too long to find that first one. 
That was three casts in a row I got hit. There's another fish. Two casts in a row, another crappie? Um, no, this one's a gill. That's probably what hit me the first couple times that I missed them. That one's a little small. I'm not opposed to keeping bluegills today, but they'd have to be bigger than that. Just barely twitching this thing, letting it drop. These crappies are gonna hit it on the fall. So you wanna twitch it up and lift it. And then as it falls down is when they'll pop it. Just let it sink, sink, sink. Just tiny little twitches. There's, oh man. <laughs> you guys probably can't see my line, but when you're fishing with this Bobby Garland setup with a real light jig head, the key is light line. I'm using four pound test and then watching your line helps a ton. Fishing in wind can be a pain in the butt. That's why I'm so pumped about this morning. Just the lightest breeze. Yeah, there's some bluegills in here. That's for sure. They keep just barely nipping at me. You want to use really light line. Four pound test is plenty for crappie fishing. I, there's no way I'd ever go heavier than six pound. Not with a Bobby Garland and a 32nd ounce jig when you're going for crappies. Another thing to keep in mind if you're using this setup is think very, very slow. I guess you don't have to think slow, but you gotta think about retrieving very slow. You're just trying to mimic a dying minnow. So just falling down, just keep a slow retrieve. Even these short casts take a while to get in. You wanna just twitch this thing and have it fall right in front of their face and have him inhale it. You don't wanna blow it by him and have him try and chase it. This side seems deeper or at least it drops off quicker. Let's see, yep, there's a fish. What are you? Feels like a gill, yep. Um, dang, he inhaled that thing too, goodness. That thing is gone. If you ever forget your pliers, stick can do the trick too. It's not quite as easy, but it works. Not quite big enough. A little bigger than the last one, but not quite big enough. If we're gonna keep any bluegills, they're gonna be nice ones. Ooh. I just keep getting nipped. That wasn't a nip. There's another crappie. All right. <laughs> There's another crappie. Beautiful. This one's not quite as big, but still in the keeper category. Boom, right off the bat, two crappies. That's exactly how I imagined this morning going. So these fish, they're pushed offshore a little bit. I mean, I'm making pretty short casts. They're not tucked up just right next to the shore, but I mean, they're pretty darn close. I'm having to flip out there just a little ways, but. There's a fish. What are you? Bluegill? Yep. Goodness. These Bobby Garlands, I freaking love them. I mean, there's a lot of lures that'll catch multiple species, obviously, but just twitching these Bobby Garlands, feeling these fish thump it is a blast. Leave down in the comments, what are your guys' favorite lures to use? Not just for spring crappie fishing, but if you're just going out to a place that you've never fished before, looking to catch whatever bites, what are you throwing? Maybe you guys will put me on to something that I haven't tried before. There's a crappie. All right, that one was close to shore. That one was really close to shore. Oh, ow. Starting to get into the bottom of the range that I want to keep. That one's going to go on the stringer, but we're not going to go any smaller than that. I don't know how long that is. That's probably nine inches. Really, we're looking for those 
10 to 11, obviously bigger, but like I said before, I'm not looking to keep a whole bunch. Six crappies and a half a bag of morels. That sounds pretty darn good to me right now. Half a bag of morels might be optimistic, but might not be. I mean, I could go out and find a bunch. Never been in here. I've never come out here and looked, so who knows? Maybe there's a whole bunch of dying elm trees out there just freaking stacked full of morel mushrooms. All right, that's my last cast out here. And I'm gonna go try a couple different spots. I'm sure I'll be back on this point before I walk back to my truck, but we pulled a couple crappies out of here, but there's a lot of spots that look really good. All right, I lied, one more cast. This actually is my last cast out here though. That was sweet. I saw him come up and hit that. All right, that was freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys could see it, but he came up out of the rocks big time. Sweet. Average size seems to be a little bit smaller than I like, but they're crappies. I'm not gonna complain. What do we got, four on there? Yeah, we got four crappies. Yeah, actually, that's gonna do it for out here. I'll come back here if I can't find any around these trees, but there's just so many trees and different pieces of brush on the shore that I gotta go try a couple different places. All right, guys. So I walked back on the other side of that rock pier, and it just gets so shallow and grassy that it's pretty much unfishable. If you were in a boat or a kayak, you might be able to get some casts in, but those crappies seem to like a little bit of depth and some rocks. So I'm gonna throw around, pitch around this dam. Let's see if I come out here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there should be some fish out here. Let's get this stringer tied up. Let's make a couple casts right off the end of this dock. There's a fish. Is that a crappie? Yes, it is. Can't believe I didn't miss him. I wasn't paying any attention. All right. Found a crappie in a different spot. Man, I am just barely hooking these guys. I think I've made up my mind. I'm gonna keep six crappies. And actually, if I, get, if I catch any big ones, I'll probably put them back. That first one is pretty decent. None of them are dinks, they're just, not great size. Six will be perfect for lunch. And then I'm gonna go run around and see if I can't find just a couple morels. That'll be a cherry on top. Oh, check it out. The geese have babies. Those are the first babies I've seen all year. There's another fish. That's my crappie right there. This one's better. Mmm. <laughs> I said it's better. It's about the exact same size. All right. What is, I think this is number six, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see here. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six crappies. All right. That's probably going to be it as far as the stringer goes. All right, guys. So we got the six crappies on the stringer. I just fished for like a half hour off camera. Caught another eight crappies. So what's that? About 14 crappies, handful of bluegills, couple bass. Definitely a good day for never being to this pond slash lake before. Did not disappoint. Would have liked to see a little bit larger fish, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And I am begging for a crappie and morel lunch. I'm gonna go walk around the woods for a while. Gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these crappies yet. Probably just put them on the shore with my name on it or something. So no one steals my fish. Hopefully snapping turtles can read. Let's go find some morels. <sighs> All right guys, so I've been walking around the woods for like probably a half hour. Found our first edible mushroom. It's not a morel, but it's a pheasant back. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not looking for pheasant backs today, but just so you guys know, if you find a mushroom that looks like that, you can pick them and eat them. There's plenty of YouTube videos that do like a catch, clean, and cook on them. 
thought I'd give you guys an update with the first edible mushroom find. Hopefully there's a ton more to come. So I walked around that entire large pond, small lake and found absolutely nothing. I'm gonna come down. There's one more stretch here of timber along the highway. I'm just gonna give it one more go because I am dying for crappies and morels. But it's getting harder and harder to look knowing that I've got six crappies swimming that I could be eating right now. So it's almost lunchtime. I'm giving her one more go. Fingers crossed. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we did not find any morel mushrooms, but it was not from a lack of effort. Spent about three and a half hours, walked around this entire pond plus some and found exactly zero. Pulled one tick off of me, found zero mushrooms. That's when you know you had a bad day. 20 mushrooms, 20 ticks, that's fine. More ticks than mushrooms, bad day. But the good news is it is pretty darn hard to be upset about having six crappies sitting on a cutting board. Plan on making some fish tacos. So I've always wanted to do this. I'm gonna turn these six beautiful crappies into 12 beautiful crappie fillets. Been waiting to do that for quite a while. That was pretty fun. But I'm gonna turn these suckers into a couple of tacos. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Usually I use Louisiana Cajun seasoning. When I do tacos, I always like to use a beer batter. Just gives it a little bit of extra crunch. We're still rolling with the Louisiana brand. We're just switching from the Cajun to the beer batter. A little sriracha mayonnaise coleslaw. This is gonna be freaking fire. Oh, the other good thing about using beer batter and using bush light for the beer batter, you might actually be surprised to hear this, but it's not just for the beer batter. It tastes pretty good too, just by itself. Oh, not funny? Oh. Well. Fried tortilla is key, absolutely key to a yummy fish taco. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Take a look. Just take a look. These things were swimming right there not very long ago, and now they are in a delicious, crunchy beer batter wrapped up in a hot tortilla. Do I take a bite? No, gotta take a bite of just the fish first. Surprise, surprise. Freaking delicious. I don't want these tortillas to get cold though. Woo, they're not cold yet. Oh my gosh, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. This is freaking Delicious. Every time I do a catch and cook, I'm like, why do I not do these more? And then I have a bunch of dirty dishes and have to clean up and it freaking sucks, but it's so worth it. I need to do these way more often. You cannot beat this. Can't beat crappie fishing. Can't beat morel hunting. Can't beat tasty freaking tacos. Can't beat a day like this. Can't beat it. This is heaven. When I go to heaven, this is where it's going to be. I'm just going to land right here. I am so happy. I have two more of those. I'm sure you guys are jealous, so I won't make you watch me eat the other two. But I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you want to see more fishing videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, comment down below if you like these catch and cooks. I freaking love them, but they are a little bit more work than usual if I just want to go out fishing. But if you guys like them that much more than my other videos, I will definitely take the time to do the catch and cooks because I don't mind them. If you guys haven't been out fishing yet this year, get the heck out there. 
The weather is finally freaking gorgeous. All the fair weather fishermen, come on out. There's plenty of fish biting. Thanks again, guys. Get out there and catch something.